There they go. Scads of them. What are they spelling? Jap scrap. <laughs> V's of geese. Why would they head south when it's so warm and nice? More of them. Where are they? Can't see them. Gone! Following the river. More down there to the west. There they are. There they go. And we got the piece of shit plow piece of shoot plow truck back here. Now we're fixing up a plow for it. I sent the man for the bolt. He brought me one back too short. We measured it, including the head. Mistake. He measured the threads. Junk. Drive shaft. This is my suburban SF sub. San Francisco Suburban GMC. Chevrolet sounds better. Anyhow, we've had a bit of discussion about drive shaft angles. And this is leaving the transfer case on the longer, of course, much longer Suburbans. And the drive shaft is, I don't know, six feet long or something, five feet long. So what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to leave the transfer case pretty straight so it doesn't put too much strain on the U-joint, which has to work back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, this is stock. We got the back end up in the air, but it's jacked up from the axle, so it doesn't change too much. Now, interestingly, GM put these what two-inch bolts on, and they got a spacer between the cross member and the nut. Why would there be a spacer? I don't know. So I was thinking on the blazer. I'll show you that in a minute. It's right over there. I was thinking of taking the cross member down and putting a spacer in between the frame and the cross member, like on the Texas Suburban, which for some reason they put it on that way, maybe because of a mistake. Boy, that CV joint spline looks real loose. Looks like it's sagging, I bet you that's... Push on it. Well, imagination. Anyhow, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Transfer case points down a bit. And that's supposed to be straight with it. Let's go look at the blazer. So that was the Suburban. It's funny, with this movie maker, I can make a movie an hour apart. You don't even know it. This is the blazer. Now, what GM did is they put spacers. Can you see that? Oh, big on my flashlight. All full of sand. One ride to the country. That's the axle. There we go. GM put spacers between the bolt, I use the longer bolt between the bolt and the frame. If I drop the cross member down by that inch or so spacer, I think the Suburban was more, I'll drop the whole axle assembly, power train, blah, blah, blah. oh boy. The transfer case. I'm cold, I've been working outside, it's uh, 3 o'clock Friday afternoon. 12 more shopping days, something like that. Anyhow, it's a pretty high adapter. But if I drop the cross member, I'll give her that steep drop of the drive shaft of the transfer case because that one's straight. So I think what this is telling me, look at that salt. Caked in salt. I think what this is telling me is uh, my front U joint could be bad because by changing things a little bit, I got it out of its happy area. straighten this out a little bit, either with a fancy new drive shaft for 200 bucks, or at the very least, putting the spacers in. I don't know if my shifter, if my shifter will reach, because guys that put lifts in all the time, oh yeah, it's on a pivot, it won't even know the difference. This thing also pops at a four-wheel drive, high range, when I go in reverse. Yeah! Done that a few times, only in reverse. Maybe it's shifting something. Accumulation of vehicles. Blazer. 
plow truck, the Suburban, and the Jimmy. Let's crank something up. Had the block heater plugged in. Plugged in. The battery charger plugged in. Hasn't started in a couple of days. Oh yeah, junk. GPS, going on a trip. Got glow plugs. Power window down. Got nice grease on there, too bad it's thick. Glow plugs off. Glow plugs on. Time to crank. Crank her up! No fast idle. Hey, where did my valve cover go? Oh, I got it tight. Dang. New wheels from the Phoenix Suburban. Looks a bit better. I hope they don't rub. I hope they don't rub. Whoa. Close. Real close. the other side. Sometimes it's not lined up perfect. This ain't Japanese, you know. Jap crap. Uh, got some more room on that side of it. 6.2. Nothing wrong with that. Diesel. I was making a video and the time ran out. Oil leak. Oil clear line. My time ran out. We've got 44 seconds. We'll try again. Thank goodness for Movie Maker. It's welded. Thank goodness for Movie Maker. We'll take advantage of this SHO Japanese 24 valve POS. I'm going to set the camera right there. I'm going to jump in the shot. Just like that. Pose for my own big. Like that. Going up to the lake. Gonna have a life on the lake. Like my T-Ruck. Got one there. Junk. Got two more. Alright, there it is. And there she goes. Get this piece of junk out of my yard. We don't like those stupid gas engines. Uh, Runs like a friggin' top. The heater works. It goes. Yeah? We're in reverse. No. We're and you're in neutral. neutral. Yeah. Oh, it's you have to do it by feel. Make sure it's an overdrive. Because the indicator wire broke. Trying to find my thingy. All right. Emergency brake. Up a little. There we go. No, don't make it too high. Well, no matter what you do, it's going to deflect air from the radiator. No matter what. That's Bye. a little too high. Bye. Oh my gosh. Shazy Lake Heaven. I'll guide you back. You shouldn't have rammed something here. Rumble, rumble. It ain't dead yet. It ain't dead yet. Oh, what a chore getting that plow on. Don't freaking whack anything. It ain't dead yet. <laughs> ah, I couldn't let it go to scrap. No friggin' way. No friggin' way. Uh-oh. Traffic jam. Ton with one ton springs, short box, half ton. Uh, 
And away it goes. Harley Davidson. Bye bye, drunker clunker, piece of shit plow truck. There it goes. Down the road. All right, let's crank something up here. Left the lights on, oops. Let's crank this baby up. Blow plugs on. And representatives of the Tennessee House. Do we have to do Ready? Crank her up! <laughs> Alright, it's gone. Sent away my plow truck. Neighbor offered me 450 bucks. I said, no effing way. Truck runs too well. Thanks for looking. TGIF off to New York City.